getting back on this the next day I had to stop and leave and use the truck for something else yesterday afternoon and so now I've got uh, a piece of quarter inch by two by two and a half out of my scrap pile this end is rotten over here I'm gonna cut that off square and then we're gonna weld that on up here the boards that are going on are 11 inches so I gotta make two pieces one for each side I made my corner posts a little bit of grinding because these original parts are not perfectly square and level and all that so I had to reshape the ends and just keep grinding and touching it up until they fit put the holes in them on the drill press got both sides done and now it's time to get them welded on there I'm going to stick weld this today and those of you that have seen my welding videos before you know I like to use a vice grip because I'm always working on dirty metal my stick welder has a vice grip cable attached to it I got a bolt welded onto the vice grip and the cable bolted right on there I'm going to go on ahead and, and do this clamp this on here got that on there I broke through the rust and the paint and took it back off wiped the dust off of it and clamped it back on on my fresh clean shiny spot there and uh, like I said I'm going to be using a stick welder and I don't know if I'm going to tripod this or not I guess I might I don't have the cleanest work conditions here so what I'm going to do is just a quick tack with a 7014 rod you can use that on AC or DC my welder is is both it's AC and DC but this rod doesn't do the neatest weld but it'll weld on top of just about anything any kind of dirt or trash it'll it'll pretty well do it except it uh, has a tendency to weld right over the flux so you have to lace your weld left and right pretty wide to make sure you get through that and in your second pass you got to clean all your flux off because it'll weld right on top of the flux but it will help me get a tack started and that's all I want and then I'm going to change rods to a 7018 a bigger rod and then go ahead and, and weld the whole thing up this is a 330 seconds rod it's a small one That's all I'm going to do for my tack and then I'm going to weld up on the inside because the tack's going to hold it out here when you weld like that it has a tendency to pull back out as it cools because the weld is hot it's expanded when it cools down it has a tendency to shrink and pull your work back out so you want to get a tack on both sides as quick as possible and then if you have to you can smack it with a hammer a little bit and adjust your part back into shape again but uh, I'll start welding on the inside with another rod and get that done. I changed my mind about going to a thinner rod. I'm just going to one that welds a little cleaner, except it's bad about sticking. That's the 7018 rod. And the reason why I still stand with this thinner rod, this uh, 330 seconds, is because I'm only working with quarter inch metal here, and this corner post, I don't know how thick it is. It's probably it might be quarter inch or it might just be eighth inch so you never want to use a stick rod that is as thick or thicker than the work itself you want to keep it about half that thickness or less
the chipping hammer seems to be missing, so I'm going to have to cheat and use pickle fork. couple more passes. I'm going to do the outside. Chip that off where my tack is. You got both sides welded up on the on the inside corners and I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit now that I've got a good backing behind there. I'll crank the heat up a little bit. I wish I could tell you just how much. I don't really know because my welder I bought it used at a place that uh, buys welders and welding equipment at auctions and they rebuild them and sell them and they do uh, repair work on welders there well mine doesn't have a gauge for the the heat range so I can only guess but I've done stick welding for a long time so I'm gonna say it's probably with these three thirty seconds rods I'm probably going to be in the neighborhood of 90 amps I'm gonna say um, for my second pass on this, I was probably around 75 amps or so, give or take, on my uh, first pass. I'm getting back on this truck again today. Had to get off of it for a couple days. I got the sides done, but the tailgate needs to be made a little bigger. 